Hi, this is the Roulette Master, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. My videos post every day. We have new content every day at 9 a.m. So um, welcome to the channel if you're new. And for today's video, I've had a lot of you asking me how I've been playing at the casino when I go and how I think through the bets and make decisions based on what I see. So I'm gonna give you a little bit um, of that today. And if I was going into the casino right now, I'd be looking at the previous numbers, obviously. I'd be looking at how the last two have been low. And before that, we had a bunch of high numbers. And um, so I would be starting with um, probably a 19 to 36 bet for $10. No more bets. And as we go through this, I'm gonna kind of share you some of the um, things that I think about when I change the bet. So, okay, we're already up $10. We won the first bet. Now we have two evens in a row and two black numbers in a row. Um, I think it's, so we can either go odd or we can go red. Um, let's actually go red for 10. There hasn't been too many reds. No yet. more bets. So I think we're probably getting close to being due for a red, but we lost. So the next one, you don't have to necessarily stay on red. When I'm when I'm playing in the casino, I think through each each decision um, and don't um, and I use my gut as much as I can. So um, I would actually switch it to odd now and then go to twenty. No more bets. If you look at the last numbers that were spun. Okay, 28 black. So now we can stay on odd for, for 40, or we can go back to red for 40. And I'm actually feeling the red now, so let's go to 40. No more bets. So if, if the decisions are about, are about even, then um, you can go either way. Okay, we still lost. So now we gotta make a decision on the $80 one. And uh, let's go, let's go back to odd. I'm feeling a bunch of black numbers in a row. No here. more bets. But again, the most important thing is that you have the bankroll. And I'm glad we're starting out kind of rough here because I get some comments that say, well, do you, I mean, are you, are you playing on a real, real system? Obviously this is an app which uses a random number generator, but I guarantee you if you use a system that doesn't work well, you will lose on here just as easily as in the casino. So now we're at 160 and let's go odd for 160. And the key thing when you're playing is you have no to make sure you're comfortable when bets get this high and you don't freak out and then basically um, change your game plan. Like we finally won and we, we could have went to uh, 320 and then to 640 because I always start, I usually start with $1,300 startup so that I, I can um, do that 640 bet. And um, so now I look at the numbers again. It's been a while since we've had um, a one, well, we had a one to 18. It's been a while since we've had a, not too long since 19 to 36, actually. Um, let's just go one to 18 and let's see if we can get another one of those low numbers. No more bets. Okay, so we lost that one. Now we got to make our $20 decision. I'm looking at this 35 and three. And I think I'm going to go in the direction of uh, red because we haven't had too many reds. So let's go to $20 no more bets. on red. Okay, and we hit. Okay. And now we're up $30. Now we need to make the decision. We have a one and a 35 for the last two. And I would go even, but 
as you saw down below, we had a long stretch of evens. And so it wouldn't be bad to, let's see, we could go even 1936. Let's go back to 19 to 36 and see if we can get it to go no back more back. and forth between lows and highs. Okay, we lost that one. Now we need to make a $20 decision. And actually, the even did hit. So let's go ahead and go back to red for 20. No more bets. See if we get a little pattern going here. Nope, we, the pattern is broken. Now we have a couple evens. So now we need to make a $40 decision and See, we have two evens in the row, both black. And let's see. We haven't had too many 1 to 18s. So let's go ahead no and more that. And we lost. It's now time to look at the $80. Uh, we have another black. Odd. I still think we should stick to the one to eighteen. No more bets. Nope, another loss. So uh, we're at the one sixty point now, and now we've had two odds in a row, and it's been a while since we've had. A 1 to 18. So I think it's. I think we just, just stay on that 1 to 18, actually. Again, this is the point where you have to be confident in what you're doing. No more bets. You can't get nervous when the money gets this high. You have to fall through. Okay, so now we're at 320. But just remember that the 320 isn't your last chance. You still have the 640 as well. And I'm glad we're having a bad run today just to kind of show you how I think through these things. And that's three odds in a row. And two reds in a row. And I think we need to stay with the 1 to 18. But, like I said, I'm not worried about this one. Don't stress out about this three hundred twenty dollar bet because you no know have six forty coming up, and let's just uh, stay positive. Okay, and we hit. So now we're at forty, and that's because it's been kind of a rough start with um, a lot of these consecutives in a row. But now let's think through where we want to go with our next bets, and we have three reds in a row now. Um, an odd and even back to back. And I think we're best just going for black for No more bets. Hopefully we can get our, our luck going a little bit better, but the zero is not too good. So now we have a $20 bet. And let's see. It's been a while since the highs have hit. Let's go 19 to 36. No more bets. But I feel more comfortable betting this way than staying on one thing and writing it out. Um, and we got to win there. I just don't like the feeling of uh, that um, if, I, if I do get a long streak of one thing, I'm, that I'm for sure going to lose. I like the idea of making um, each bet as its own decision. And let's see, now we're at $50. And... We haven't had an odd for a while, so let's go odd for two. No more bets. Twenty-three red. Another win. Now we're up sixty dollars. We haven't had a black number in a long time, so let's go black for no two. No more bets. All right, we got it. So our luck's starting to change a little bit. Now we're up 70. <coughs> so now you have an odd and even back to back. 
We have... I haven't had a 1 to 18 in a while, so let's go no for more 1 to 18 for 10. As you can see, with more, normal Martingale, people stay on the exact same spot and just ride it out. I don't feel comfortable doing that. I like to make each decision um, on my own, and the odds are really similar anyway, but you want to follow your gut. So um, the first one we lost. Now we have a $20 bet decision. We had two evens in a row, two highs in a row. Actually, yeah, two highs in a row there. And... I think it's time to go low. No more bets. Okay, I think we got that one. Okay, now we're up $80. And so now we have three evens in a row. Let's go odd for 10. No more bets. Twenty-four black. We lost, so we have a $20 decision to make. We have four in a row, even. Let's do an odd for 20. No more bets. And if we get a long streak, I might deviate from that, but looks like we hit. Okay, so now we're up $90. And that that tough start that we have, we stuck we stuck it out and wrote and you know got through it by uh, staying positive and going with the strategy that we came in with and um, using the startup fund. That's correct, thirteen hundred dollars. And now we're looking at two highs in a row. We could go red or we could go uh, low. Let's actually go red for ten. No more bets. Three red. All right. So now we have two odds in a row, two highs in a row. Uh, let's go to even for ten. No more bets. We lost that one. Now we're going to twenty, and I think we need to go to the low. We've had a bunch of nineteen. No more bets in a row. We lost that one. So now we need to make a $40 decision. We've had one, two, three, four in a row of the third 12, or I mean of the highs. And but we've gone back to back on odd and even. I think we should do one to 18. And let's see what that. All right. No more bets. Four red and let's see. Now we need to go eighty dollars, and we've hit two evens in a row. So we could either go odd or we can go low. Um, let's go odd. No Which more bets. My gut there. All right, and it worked out. All right, so now we're up 110. And we've had a bunch of highs in a row. I think it's time to go 1 to 18. No more bets. For 10. Okay, we lost that one. So now we need to make a $20 bet. We have an odd and an even, two black. Uh, let's go red for 20. No more bets. The main thing is remembering where you're at in the progression. Okay, so now we have a $40 decision to make. We've had three black in a row and two even in a row. Um, let's go 40 red. No more bets. Red is due. Oh, nope, we lost that one. So now we have an $80 decision to make. We've had four black in a row, three even in a row, but I'm feeling that this could be a long run of black numbers. So I think it's time to go low. 
for 80. And that's how you can kind of get beat the uh, streaks. No more bets. Is to not sit on that for a long time. Okay, we won. So now we're up 120. And we have a low and uh, a high, an odd and even. There's not a whole much to go off, or a bunch to go off of here. Um, so if there's nothing to go off of, I either spin without betting or I go the opposite color. So let's go black. No for more bets. Dollars. $130. So now we have two lows back to back, odd and even. Um, we had a lot of 19 to 36s earlier though. So I think it's going to go back and forth on colors. Let's go red. No first. more bets. Yep, we lost that one. Two black. So we have a $20 bet. We've had two evens in a row. So let's go on for 20. No more bets. And we got it. And now we're up $140. So I hope that uh, kind of listening to me uh, talk through these bets uh, helps you next time you play. But again, the most important thing is that you have a strategy coming in. Um, startup fund, like I said, I use $1,300. I start with $10 bets and I don't deviate from my plan uh, when the bets get high like some people do and they freak out because they're afraid of losing but um, you have to stick to it and if you do lose it all then uh, you know you just go back home and come back stronger next time and um, and uh, you'll be better for it so the uh, the way I think through things hopefully um, gives you some ideas uh, if you like my videos uh, please subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate it and i love getting feedback from you guys so um, let me know what you think of all the videos but also let me know no if bets. you'd like me to do any videos um, that you use any systems that you've been thinking about or that you use in your own casino i love testing those out and um that's all I've got for you today. This is the Roulette Master, and have a great day.